Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. It is a gorgeous evening here in the Pacific Northwest. We are headed out to the tunnel because it is time to start the very first seeds of the year. One of the videos you can look forward to seeing really soon is a vegetable garden makeover. Uh, there's gonna be multiple parts to that one, but it's something we are working on early next week. So that's exciting if you like a good transformation. The ranunculus took a little bit of a hit from a frost but um, they seem to be bouncing back, so I'm pretty excited about that. And as you can see, the tulips are coming right along. I do, however, still need to do my little tidying and nursery setup down here. Just need to organize everything a bit, and we got some new tables, like we said we would, so we'll have plenty of room for all of our beautiful seeds. I will tell you one thing though, it is so warm in the tunnel. I absolutely love it. Today, I am gonna go ahead and start a million bajillion cold hardy annual seeds. If you have not read the book by Lisa Mason Ziegler called Cool Flowers, which is all about cold hardy annuals, I cannot recommend it enough. By growing cold hardy annuals, you are gonna get flowers much, much earlier in the year. A lot of our summer annuals don't start blooming until mid-July, but our cold hardy annuals begin blooming in June. So I am going to fill up some seed trays and we are gonna get started. So here is my first tray full. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and write a label and then I'm going to poke holes. So that's what you'll see me doing at the beginning of every tray that we're starting. The first seed that I'm starting today is a bachelor button. I know that most people direct sow their bachelor buttons. I am not direct sowing much in my garden this year, specifically because of pressure from weeds. So that's the one benefit of doing something in a tray, no weed pressure. So once you <laughs> I'm sorry about the airplanes. Once you get it written on your tape, I just take it and apply it to the end of my tray, like so. For these bachelor buttons, this is the classic magic, with a, which if I'm not mistaken, is the like dark purple ones. And it says, side note, always follow the instructions on your seed packet. This one says that it does require some darkness to germinate um, and that it'll take about seven to 14 days. So we are gonna make sure that we get these down in a hole and then cover them up with soil so they get the darkness they need. Bachelor buttons are one of those crops that is really easy to grow. You do wanna be a little careful because they will self-sow in your garden. Some people don't really like them because they seem very common or maybe because they're kind of laborious to harvest. You do get a lot of stems per plant though, so that's one reason they're actually one of my favorites. And while the blue ones, the kind of classic blue, are very expected, I think that the black ones and some of the other varieties are really, really special. Bachelor buttons, some people like to succession plant them. I have found that they have a really long blooming window, so succession planting is not something that I do with them the same way that I do, say, Cosmos. Cosmos are something I succession plant every two to three weeks, whereas bachelor buttons, if I was going to succession plant them, which I will this year, I will probably only do one, like one extra succession, maybe two. Because again, that, that bloom time, that blooming window is just so long and generous. Once I have a tray completely seated, I go ahead and I just bang it on the table a little bit. And that puts, that forces the soil to go back into those holes that I just seeded in and all the seeds get covered up. That 
that is one tray done. I have two more trays of bachelor buttons to do, and I'm also going to do them in a 128, just like those magic mix ones. The next one that I'm working on is Saponaria. I got this seed from Johnny's, although I will say if you are buying bulk seed, uh, Johnny's might not be the best option. You might want to look into Geo or something like that as far as pricing goes. But um, I do love Johnny's and I had this seed, so that's the one I'm using. This one I went ahead and put in a 128 tray and I totally overseeded this. I think Saponaria is one that people normally direct sow. Again, I'm doing it in trays to avoid the weed pressure. So take that into mind. And the other thing I wanted to mention about all of the seeds I'm starting today is that I've had them stored in my freezer all winter long. So all of these seeds have had a really, really hard frost for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks now. By comparison, the conditions here in the greenhouse are gonna feel really, really warm. The next one that we're doing is Bupurum. I absolutely adore this. It's a great filler. I got the seed from Johnny's. And it says on here that they only want to be covered with maybe a quarter inch of soil. So when I make my little holes with my Sharpie here, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not going down too deep. Again, Bupleurum is one of those that is most commonly direct seeded into the garden. Of course, you can do that in the fall or the very late winter, uh, as soon as your soil is workable in the spring. If you live in the Pacific Northwest in zone 8B, your soil is probably workable all winter long. But again, I am going ahead and seeding this into a tray because of weed pressure. I do not want to put all of my expensive seed into the field and then not be able to tell it apart from uh, the weeds, basically. All right, guys, we are making some progress. Okay, seriously, this is my absolute favorite time to be out in the tunnel. The light is just so gorgeous. I never dreamed in a million years that I would have a space like this to grow flowers. I feel so incredibly lucky. Next up is gonna be Nigella. Now, this is the Delft blue. I love this variety. It's kind of a purpley color, but some of them have white with purple streaks. Mm, it's so good. Or purple with little white streaks. Love it so much. So it says on here that the seed wants to be sown and covered just lightly with soil. So as I'm poking my holes again, uh, I'm going to keep it pretty shallow. And in case you wanted to look at the seed pack, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and have a look with the directions that Johnny's recommends. Of course, if you don't buy your seeds from Johnny's, but you do need some reminders or instructions, all of this information is on their website. They are an incredible source. All right, stock is going to be our last one of the night because we are losing the light, as you can probably tell. I absolutely love stock. I actually grow it instead of snapdragons. I feel like snapdragons are very, very common. Everyone has them, uh, you know, in their garden. They see them at the nursery all the time. Whereas stock, even though it's a one and done, it has an amazing scent and it's just that little bit different, a little bit more unexpected than say a snapdragon in a bouquet. And here is the back of the packet for those of you that would like to see the growing information. You can go ahead and hit pause. You'll notice that it says to cover lightly with vermiculite. I do not have any vermiculite on hand, so I'm going to make the tiniest indentations in the soil and then cover the seed lightly with my compost. The other thing you're going to notice on here is that it says it says it says it takes 7 to 14 days at 65 to 75 degrees. Well, it's definitely not going to be that warm in the tunnel. So this is one that I am not expecting to germinate until a little later when everything warms up. If, <laughs> if I had a little more room in my house under lights and on my heat mats, I would definitely bring the stock inside, but I don't. So we are going to leave her out in the tunnel to germinate at her will. 
so we did pretty dang good for ourselves guys we've got six let's see actually seven seven trays we did all of the bachelor buttons the saponaria the Bupurum, the nigella and all of our stock i do have a lot more seeds to start and there is no doubt that i'm going to be out here all weekend long starting seeds i might bring you guys along or i might take a little bit of a break from youtube we did do three videos this week so i hope you enjoyed them i hope you learned something about starting seeds i hope you are getting going on your own cold hardy annual seed starting and i will catch you guys in the next one Good night, seeds. Good night, ranunculus. Good night, tulips. Good night, tunnel. Good night, farm. If you like this video and you want to learn more about flower farming, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And you may want to check out some of our other vlogs. You can watch our entire 2021 season in the playlist below.